If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how to achieve and increase max level for your Mutt Master, your Level Master, and your Team Captain. Because I know you guys have been wondering... I've gotten plenty of comments on it. Plenty of people seem to be confused, and I understand what the confusion is. Not that it's hard, but it's definitely more in depth than past Maddens, where in past Maddens, like you're level 10 and there's like five level tokens waiting for you, or you just do a few things and things upgrade, or the team captain you just click on. It is a little bit different this year in terms of how you upgrade them. Still very simple, but I can see where the confusion would be. And I know the launch date is technically tonight, uh, tonight at midnight or in the morning, whenever they want to release it. So I know a lot of new people are going to be in the game. They're going to be confused. So I decided to make this video. We'll be posting it late tonight when you guys are probably seeing this. So you guys can get it right around the time you're going to need it. So let's get into this video, guys. Before we get into it, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, guys. And if this does help you guys out, make sure you smash the like button. It helps the channel a lot. And make sure you subscribe. We're super close to 22K. So first off, let's start with the team captain in terms of how you upgrade them. So I did pick Eddie George as a team captain. Guys, I'm on the PC as per usual because I'm still locked out of my Xbox account. But besides the point, I do want to go ahead here and show you guys how to do this regardless. So to upgrade Eddie George, you're going to need the three team captain tokens to get him up to an 89. Now there is multiple ways to get him. So the first way, which is the quickest way, but maybe not the best way to do it, is going over to the store now guys i don't recommend you do it this way because there's a free way to do it so don't waste your time you can go to series one team captain token and for either two dollars and fifty cents or approximately or fifteen thousand coins or approximately 250 you will be able to pull up and pick them so you can for the small price of about 45k you can get it right now but right now 45k is a lot it may seem small but it's a lot more in terms of how much it's worth at this point in the game so in my opinion play the free solos much cheaper not that long and why waste coins you don't have to now again if you're if you're, uh, you're rich in madden you're a youtuber or something and you don't have the time for this i do like they added this for people like that or people who come into this game in like december and just like i'm not doing this just buy 100k worth of tokens be done with it i can see where the use for that may be so i don't i don't I'm not bash on the fact that they added it but for the regular no money spend or just regular player even for me save your coins don't waste them coming over to challenges and you're going to want to play the preliminaries i believe and as you go through preliminaries it says right here to earn a team captain token then i'm assuming this is the second one and this is going to be the third one again i have the souls locked my xbox not here but pretty much that should be your three right there guys it doesn't take too long it's just, it's it's i know there's some solos here but they're really fast they level you up you need to level up anyways they get you some boost tokens uh for your rival i believe that you're going to get anyways you need that free player you get some knack gold player packs which is where i've gotten a few good players out of in the past few years madden i just think it's a very worthwhile decision to go ahead and actually play your solos versus that but again like i said if you're a youtuber or you're mutt in december and you come in like i can i can imagine like you just want to play you have 500 dollars loaded up you're gonna have a jack team and you gotta go ahead and play these that you don't need for an 85 you're not gonna use then in case i can honestly see where you go ahead and you just buy it and you advance past it that makes in so much sense to me Especially when you have, you're gonna have like a 90 overall team day one, you have to go ahead and play for an 85 or a team captain that you need to you need something else for. Understandable. But that pretty much uh sums up the team captain. Team captain's easier than usual, in my opinion. In past years, you did have to go ahead and use training uh to get them all the way up to their I think it was training to get them up to their 90s and then tokens from there on out. Now that wasn't horrible, but the training did add up, and especially within the first two weeks, you had to spend like hundred K plus just to get the team captain up, and you wanted to do so because it was 90 overall and it made sense. It was a really good card, and you're like, that's the best card in the game if you get it up now. But I like that they did change it so I didn't have to spend all my hard-earned coins on it, and they let me actually keep it real, no money spent, free style just for him, since they do give it to us for free. But let's move on to the next one, which is the Mutt Master, which is Sam Mills. Now, Sam Mills, you don't upgrade him the traditional way of like, you upgrade him how they've always upgraded him, but it's not the way for people who think it might be like a team captain. It's very different. So you're going to need collect collectibles to toss into him all the way up until his 94 overall. Now, how do you collect these? For most people who have played Madden before, they more or less know what they're doing with these. But I can, again, see where the confusion is for some new players. And I know that was one of the most confusing things for most people when they first start playing is how to complete Mutt Master. So you're going to come down to Mutt Master. Here you have Mutt Master Progression and Mutt Master Series 1. Now, let's start with the Series 1 real quick. So this is just for an extra coin objective. This is why I always recommend you play with Sam Mills in your lineup, especially when you're doing solos. Solos doesn't matter. If you're going to win regardless. Just put him in. So if you get specific things 
with certain players like Sam Mills, you're going to get extra stuff. So here's just 70 team sacks total. If you get 70 team sacks total, you're going to get 5k coins and 5k coins for both of them because you complete both, obviously. And then 150 tackles with Sam Mills. Sam Mills has to make these tackles. So just in the solo, user him, make or just let him be. He'll make his own tackles. Eventually, you'll get it done. Once you complete that, you get another uh, 5k, 5k, that's 10k coins. But don't miss the best part. If you complete this whole list, you're in a special plus one overall to him, and you get 100k coins. So... Make sure you get this done during Series 1. It's a free 100k, and it's a free extra overall to Sam Mills. So make sure you get that done. Toss him in your lineup. Now let's go on how to actually upgrade him up there, regardless of the coins and the plus 1. So here's a list you want to be following to upgrade Sam Mills throughout the entirety of the Madden 21 season. This is exactly the upgrade. So 3 multiplayer wins. One of the easiest things to get done. Hop multiplayer, get that done when the full game releases. Earn 100 stars and challenges. Guys, play solos for literally like an hour, and this will be done. You get, the, you get five stars per game if you play them on hard. Trust me, guys, this will be done the quickest way is one of these. Win 100 games with an 82 plus overall. Now, this is one of the easiest ways. Now, guys, what I recommend is if you're like an 81 overall right now, don't go play solos. Get get a plus one overall. Nothing's worse than being at an 81 as a no money spent team for like the first whole week and not buying any cards. And then realizing this was an objective, and you're like, wow, I played over 100 solo challenges this week. And now I'm out of solos. Like, I really don't know how I'm going to get this. If you're like a 75 overall, don't do it. It's going to cost too much money. Go ahead and just play and wait till you get to the 82. You'll, you'll complete that at some point whenever. But if you're an 81 and you're super close, make sure you get that level up increase because you're not going to want to feel really stupid when you see this. 15 daily objectives. Very simple. That gets done as the days go on. Just all you got to do is buy a pack every day. I buy the 500 silver pack. and play two solo challenges or online games, and that will complete that one per day. So 15 days, you get that one. Sadly, I'm locked out, so I'm going to be behind on that. 1500 team tackles that'll happen super fast just playing solos tackle 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 online super simple 4000 team tackles same thing 20,000 passing yards 50,000 passing yards so on and so forth as we go on just follow this whole list and you will understand and this is going to be complete two month master series one of the activities which is just this thing complete two of them super simple and now guys for the final one it's going to be Andre Johnson now in this account again I do not have him yet because of course it's the PC account but this one's very simple as well so with Andre Johnson He's the level up master, so you're going to get him by leveling up. I believe when you hit like level, level 10 or 11, you do unlock him. You don't just start off at a low overall. Now, in past years, when you would level up, you would get tokens at certain level ups, and you would just put them in. This year, it's a little bit different, so you're going to be pretty confused on how to upgrade him. So pretty much, it's very simple this year. All you got to do is go ahead to challenges, which I don't like that they kind of did this this way. I mean, it makes you play more solos, but they never made you play solos for it. These challenges used to be irrelevant, but it, you have to come to the level up challenges. So it says complete these challenges to earn unique X factors and R treatments for your uh, level master. Now, I believe that the uh, Andre Johnson, you still get tokens at certain levels, but to certain parts, you're gonna get stuck at like an, a card art thing or an X Factor thing, and to get past they're gonna need this. So come over here, it says play these challenges to earn a large overall increase for your level up master. So let's go play these guys, they're super quick. They're like gauntlet style kind of, you try to go in, pass 45 yards, get these done, and you're going to unlock some of your stuff. Co coincide that with your leveling up grind and everything, you should be getting everything. You're gonna see it more or less as you go, and you're gonna understand the whole process of this. He does get up to an 89. Should be super simple to level up. Um, again, the easiest one to probably get up all the way is going to be, of course, Team Captain. You only got to play a few solos. The hardest one's probably going to be Sam Mills. That one could... For the committed grinder or YouTuber guy that has to really be playing all day, I could probably have um, Sam Mills upgraded within the first month, give or take, or like the second... Not all the way to max 94, but like at least into the 90s. Because uh, some of them are going to be hard. Just some of them take some time. You just really can't do those without really grinding hard, hard. Like sweat level, bot level. But for regular people that like don't only play here and there or grind or do a lot of auctioning and don't play as much, that could like guys might not see that till November, December. Like that's the kind of level of like how hard that list could be. If you're really just not playing all day online or you don't play online at all or you don't play solos. But guys, it's better for the video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, if you're already to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys, and join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know who you're doing first. What level you guys have, Matt? In my opinion, the first thing you want to get, just get your team captain out of the way. And the level up master will come. Like, Sam Mills and level up master naturally do themselves as long as you just play the game. Team captain, you got to actually go play those solos. And then as you play the game, do team captain, do level up challenges, and things will just kind of start snowballing from there. And before you know it, you'll have Sam Mills in 85, and you won't even realize you did it. But guys, better for the video, like I said, sub, like, comment, join the family, guys. Super close to 22K. Keep joining us. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.